something burning. Something's burning. And 30 something's seconds, something's people. Something's bon something's Jewel, something's they call me. <laughs> okay, then, I'd be happy to service you. You will see a question. When you know the answer in servitude, select the boutonniere next to it. There is a clock counting down your time, so if you buzz in fourth with, the more Sonorians you'll win. Or surrender. Okay, you're ready on set. Player one, you failed to enter your John Hank clock. Let's call you Jack. And soon we'll find out if you know yourself. Ten seconds. Catch you on the flat side. I need a quick toilet check. Six, five, Go to four, nine, three. Seven, w -E -O -B, the asylum. I am Cookie Masterson, and this game may contain mild violence and full frontal donkey nudity. I'm glad it's just you and me. This way I can give you my full attention. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. There may not be a lot of vitamins in Hamburger, but there are plenty of vitamins in Warren Burger. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> so why not get started? First down the docket, astronomy. How many Earths could you stuff into the volume of Uranus before it just couldn't take anymore? 6, 63, 630, or 6300? You could fit a little over 63 Earths into the massive volume of Uranus. 64 if you really relax. Take a good look at five, five dollar, five dollar artwork. Suppose Jackson Pollock had become a sandwich artist at Subway. What would his supervisor have noted about his performance? Wastes time by precisely laying each vegetable, overuses the sauce squirters, insists on cutting bread at a 45 degree angle, or always shapes the ham into flowers. Time's a wasting. Not even a guess? That's pretty lame. You should have guessed this. Pollock was a pioneer of the drip method, a style where forceful, rapid, and impulsive strokes of sauce, I mean paint, were directly applied onto the canvas. And in the time it took to complete this question, five new subways just opened up in your town. Enjoy. How about, who's the dummy? So, I've been practicing ventriloquism lately, and I'm getting pretty good. I just have a little trouble with my B's, P's, and M's. Anyway, I'd like to introduce my partner, Billy O'Brien. Say hello, Billy O'Brien. Hello, Dilly O'Brien. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, it's good to see you. Wish I could say the same thing, Dunny. Oh, just, just get on with the question. Calm down, Mr. Nan. So I've been planning a trick to get away from this, Dunny, that for some un unresolved legal troddlings, I can't have a task tort. Which of these tradical destinations is a U.S. territory and therefore wouldn't require a task tort to travel to? The Dahanas, Cuda, Guan, or Dominican Republic? Looks like you don't need a task tort for the Republic of Neurons. Why didn't you pick this? Guan is United States territory. You know, Billy, wherever you go, I have to go, too. You think I don't know that? You know how embarrassing it is for me when I'm on a date and I need you to unzip my pants? And on its way, I'll dance, but I'm not wearing a hard hat. Which of these characters is not dressed to resemble a member of the village people? Woody from Toy Story, Bob the Builder, Captain Hook, or Chief Wiggum? Construction worker, cop, and cowboy are all village people. Pirate is not. I always wondered what village those people came from. Wherever it was, it seemed very fun and career-oriented. Where's the Bob girl? Rock my world girl. Ooh, yeah. Here we have Pope Rock. 
And it's a dis or dat. Now I'm going to read off seven names for each one. Tell me if it's the name of a pope or the name of a Britney Spears song. If it's a pope, press the square button. If it's from Britney, press your circle button. Each one right gets you 300 delicious communion wafers. Each one wrong costs you 300 strands of hair. And God says you must finish this thing in 30 seconds or less, or he will send Kevin Federline to your house. Okay, we're off. Innocent. Lucky. Urban. Outrageous. Hilarious. Toxic. Lonely. Well, nobody's perfect. Say three Hail Marys and recite the lyrics to Womanizer. Another thing the Pope and Brittany have in common, neither of them wear panties. That's round one. And you've got a decent score there. Don't screw it up. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. And lest you forget, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Well, no time like the present. It's time for... I Pezzed My Pants. Suppose Pez comes out with a Perez Hilton dispenser. If your Perez Hilton Pez is packed completely full of Pez, just like Perez is chock full of juicy celebrity gossip, how many Pez could you suck from Perez's neck? Eight Pez per Perez Pez, 10 Pez per Perez Pez, 12 Pez per Perez Pez, or 14 Pez per Perez Pez? A standard Pez dispenser, whether shaped like Perez or not, holds 12 pieces of candy. And they say eating too much candy is bad for your health, but I have to say it's probably better for you than reading his blog. Question seven. Take a stab at hole in more than one. Since Tiger Woods got married in 2004, in which year was Tiger Woods' wood anniversary? 2005, 2006, 2008, or 2009? That was the year Tiger regained the number one ranking in the world, and uh, you're just getting further away from any possible number one ranking. Where's that confounded right answer? The five-year anniversary is the Wood anniversary, and 2009 was the year of Wood's, uh, you know, hard times. Yeah, I'm guessing he wishes there was a little less Wood that year. Plucking chickens, picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. May I introduce foodies in a half shell? Given the dietary habits of tortoises, what would the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises most likely order at Pizza Hut? A Super Supreme Pizza? Meat Lover's Pizza? Hold the pizza, meat only? A Veggie Lover's Pizza? Or no- No, no, I'll get this. Unlike turtles, most tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises would probably order the Veggie Lover's Pizza. Also, and I've done some research on this, very few tortoises are actually ninjas. This pizza has the wrong answer baked right into the crust. But your supreme mistake has brought you a supreme reward because you've just won Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. Nothing keeps children happy and healthy like John Roberts, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Samuel Alito. Yeah! This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. Coming up. Don't come in here, I'm feldsparring. What do a Victoria's Secret model and the mineral feldspar have in common? Both are extremely hot, both are partially synthetic, both are thin and malleable, or both have perfect cleavage. Not much time left. I think your brain is partially synthetic. I so wanted you to pick this one. 
The cleavage of a mineral refers to the way it can be split along a parallel surface, and feldspars is perfect in one direction. So that's what a Victoria's Secret model and feldspar have in common. And also both rarely speak English. Hold me, never let me go. Say hello to Harold and Kumar go to the Middle Ages. If it were like the castles of yore, how could White Castle defend itself from the marauding Harold and Kumar? Paint the restaurant black? Build the restaurant in a valley? Throw onions at them to... One incredibly horrific means of defending a castle was to pour hot oil on attackers from up above. It was also how medieval chefs got the idea to deep fry meat. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 bucks if you're right, 4,000 gone if you're wrong, and one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The hair up there. For some, every day's a bad hair day. Look. That's all she wrote! To celebrate your awesome score, I will now say something to you I've never said to anyone else in my life. Are you ready? All right, here it is. My name is Janet Slutskowski, and I'm a penguin trainer. There you go. You don't know Jack! Nice one, folks. Okay, Danny, let us know what we're doing. All right, give me the hate sign if you're interested in more playage. Bowling. Why ruin such a primal sport by gingerly putting your fingers through the ball like a dainty little schoolgirl? Introducing Fistable Bowling Equipment. For the dude who takes on the world knuckles first, we customize all of our balls, bags, and shoes so they fit your fist perfectly, and you can get right down to the business of punching out a game. Wow, nice frame, mister. Out of my way. Fistable Bowling Equipment Incorporated. When life gives you a 7-10 split, punch it hard. Immigration, gay marriage, the Bill of Rights. Is it just me, or is America falling apart? I'm Lindsay St. Simone, and if you vote for me, I promise to construct a 40-foot concrete wall around the entire nation. No one will get in or out. Under my regime, I guarantee that my oppressive foot soldier militia will strip all citizens equally of their every right. Isn't it about time we got America back on track? This November, vote Lindsay St. Simon for fascist dictator. This message paid for by St. Simone Mini Golf and Go Kart on Route 16. Traffic is terrible. I wish there was some way to escape. Now there is. Where did you come from? You can escape reality altogether. Sounds nice, but how? Easy. Start interpreting all the road signs as if they're secret messages to you, or just obsess over the number five. Wow, there are a lot of number fives on these license plates. 
What could that mean? See that old lady over there in the blue Honda? Get out of your car and start yelling at her. Why? She looks so sweet. I don't know. Maybe she's a demon. And she's probably trying to stop me from getting my messages to the president. Now you're getting it. Thanks, Magical Pixie. I'm not even here. That's how good you're doing. Insanity. If you lived here, you'd be a giant duck already. You dress yourself to the nines every day. Why shouldn't you do the same for your friend with nine lives? <laughs> At Meow Inappropriate Cat Accessories, we stock hundreds of unnecessary adornments to shamelessly decorate any cat. We've got cat saddles, kitty swim trunks, feline infrared goggles, and introducing the electronic cat translator. Feed me. Leave me alone. Go f*** yourself. So if it's cute, if it's teeny, and if it probably shouldn't go on a cat, then you'll find it at Meow Inappropriate Cat Accessories, located between the Bicycles for Dogs Warehouse and the Lizard Mittens Emporium. Hi, I'm Garo Stanton. We at Stanton's Rhyming Dictionary rate our product so high, we really feel it's the best rhyming dictionary money can purchase. Other rhyming dictionaries might say they're the best, but we really feel we're better than all the others. You want rhymes? That's what you need. We've got a book of rhymes that's a pleasure to browse through. So check us out. Our dictionary is truly sublime. It's really the only place to go when you need two words that sound alike. Thank you. One ticket to bloody, bloody murder, please. Wait a minute. How old are you? Seventeen. I don't believe you. You look six. Aw, man, shucks. Hey, kid, if you want to seem older and get into R-rated movies, you gotta smell older. Here, try a bottle of Old Man Essence. Hey, me! One ticket to bloody, bloody murder, please. You have the mature smell of mothballs and elderly B.O. Sorry about before. Thanks! 